Sorry if you can hear some kids playing outside, but there's nothing much I can do about that. I was going to have a very different video up today, but this was being brought to my attention while I was out and I had to get home so I could make this video. It was brought to my attention by my good friend Dancing Ragdolls. Check them out if you haven't already. We've been friends for like over five years now. <laughs> they let me know that on this app, Furry Amino, there are people who are stealing my art and characters and are using them for roleplay in like a Goosebumps roleplay server. I shouldn't really have to explain why this is not good. I created these characters and people using them without my permission and without crediting me or any of the other artists that were also having their work stolen. Now I am not on this app. If you see anyone using my characters without crediting me or reposting my art without crediting me, please let me know and please let them know not to do it again. Dancing Ragdolls sent me first a picture of this group and then a link to the group itself. I would just first like to focus on the top half, the banner image. Now at first you may think, well, it's a reasonable explanation to say that perhaps they didn't realise that this was an OC, or may maybe they thought it was an official piece of Goosebumps artwork or something, until you realise that this is my YouTube profile picture that was drawn for me by Fungal Zombie, but Fungal Zombie never posted it anywhere themselves. They sent it to me as a DM on DeviantArt, and this version with the black background is the version that's on my YouTube profile picture, so they must have got it from my YouTube page. Percy isn't the only character that had been stolen here, but also Danny. Why is it that whenever something goes wrong, it's always <laughs> Danny's always involved? <laughs> now here's where things uh, get interesting, because Dancing Ragdolls DM'd them, asking them to change their profile picture, and also their username. I'm not going to post their username, because I don't want them to get harassed or anything, but their username was related to Danny, and they said that Danny is actually not mine, and that he might be an official Goosebumps thing, but he's not. They also said, like, uh, he's manufactured by a company. And I think what they're referring to here is the fact that my Danny, the puppet that I own, that I named Danny Bagonzi, yes, he was created by a company. There's a tag on him somewhere, hold on. The Goldberger Company in New York, which, from my understanding, is a company that makes replicas of puppets, like well-known puppets, and Danny is a replica of a puppet from the 1950s that was used in Nesquik commercials. That's true. That is true. I'll give you that. But I have made modifications to Danny, as you can see from the differences between these pictures. And let's take another look at the Danny on their profile picture. I'm not sure if they drew this themselves or if they took it from someone else. This picture does seem familiar to me, but maybe someone's just drawn me a picture of Danny in the past that looked <laughs> similar to this. Main difference between my Danny and the quote-unquote the original is there are like several main differences mainly in personality appearance and also insides which I'll get to what that means afterwards first of all personality now anyone who's been like around since the beginning since 2016 says I've got Danny you'll know that he's been getting progressively more quote-unquote crazy throughout the years Soon after I bought him, in fact, like, even before he arrived, I'd already, like, changed up the character, so he was, like, original. He wasn't just the original Nesquik thing. <laughs> he was a actor in movies that hit his head, and then he attacked someone. It's not a very long story. You can read it. I'll put a link to it in the description. Second point is appearance. While, yeah, 
they're gonna look pretty similar because my Danny is a replica of the other Danny. There are several differences that show that my Danny is unique, some of which have been there from very early on, namely the hair and the nose. I'm not really getting into the body right now, and the tongue as well. The original Danny had like slicked back black hair whereas my Danny has very messy black hair that kind of sticks out the front is like a fringe. Now on their profile picture you can see the messy hair so I think it's quite fair to say that they were at least inspired by and at the most you know they're copying my Danny. I mean just like take a look at these three pictures side by side and say which ones look the more familiar. You're right to point out that the nose is smaller but in the grand scheme of things me drawing Danny with a long nose I haven't been doing that for very often and in fact I did used to draw Danny with a small triangular nose like that. They haven't shown the eyes open but if the eyes are open and they're green well then that's definitely a copy because the original Danny had brown eyes or blue eyes I can't really remember. I think it changes. I don't know it's in black and white. Finally we get to insides which is where this whole thing becomes a bit gory so if you don't like go click off the video. Now of course the original Danny is just an ordinary puppet. There is nothing strange about it. It just, it just is what it is. <laughs> but the thing with my Danny is, is that part of his like story, like the lore I guess, is that he is possessed by the spirit of a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with me guys, please. I swear I swear it's not not as bad as it sounds, this this story. And kinda like what happens with Chucky in the child's play movies, the spirit becomes like deeply manifested into the body and he has blood inside of him and organs. Hence why he has bloodshot eyes and a nosebleed, because he bleeds, he has blood in him. In that picture, Danny is bleeding. That's kind of... <laughs> in fact, this very much reminds me of a picture I drew of Danny a couple years ago. Also, I should point out that it would be a big fat whopping coincidence for them to know about me on my YouTube channel, to took my profile picture, and not have come across Danny. So, you know, quite, quite sus, quite suspicious. <laughs> Unless you have permission from an artist, it's not okay to roleplay as somebody else's OCs and it's really not okay to upload other people's art and characters without crediting them. It's okay to be inspired by somebody else to make a character and it's okay for two characters to be based on the same original thing, to both be inspired by the same thing. But when the inspiration is close enough for them to pretty much be exactly the same thing, that's when it's not okay. I don't mean any harm to this person. They have changed the profile picture of the Goosebumps roleplay group now, but they have yet to change their account name and profile picture as well. I don't mean any harm, don't go out and harass this person, I just want to give them some advice to not do this in the future and if you're trying to come up with your own version of the original Danny puppet, like your own I guess headcanon of him, please don't use somebody else's original character and headcanons. The reason Danny is the way he is is because of inspirations from lots of different things. I mentioned Child's Play but also many many songs as well, as well as personal experiences. Danny for me is a very personal character. I wouldn't necessarily call him a Sona, I guess he's kind of a pseudo Sona, whereas Percy is my Sona, he's like my main one, he is me basically. If I were a monster, that's what I would be, <laughs> I would be Percy, you know what I mean? <laughs> if I would give some advice on how you would create like your headcanon version, I would recommend maybe playing off of the whole 
chocolate thing more. I know with my Danny, I've got this thing where he loves chocolate milk, but he also loves chicken nuggets and macaroni cheese. It's just kind of like three foods that he's obsessed with and I don't really like use that it's more of him eating people <laughs> more than like eating sweet foods perhaps in your head canon it's full on like a chocolate milk obsession that he has I don't know that's just an idea <laughs> before I wrap this video up I would just like to make it clear what characters are mine and are not official Goosebumps products at all. Percy, obviously Percy is mine, but Harvey, Nancy, Mr. Manson, his first, his first name is Jack, <laughs> so I might refer to him as Jack, Noisy, Pom Pom, Maxwell, and of course Danny Bagomzi, even though he's not a Goosebumps character, but I have drawn him with Goosebumps characters in the past. <laughs> Thanks for listening and if you see anyone stealing my or other people's characters and like using them as their own or using them and posting them without giving any credit please let the original artist know. Thank you for your consideration. Peace out.